guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. If you're new here, hello. My name is Farina and nice to meet you. For today's video, I have my September favorites. I know it is now October, but better late than never. Also, you guys, it is not only fall, but it's also October. It is spooky season. I know I'm 23 and saying that, but Halloween is such a fun time. I feel like it has progressively gotten a lot more fun since I grew up because back then I'm just like yeah like Halloween I'm too cool for Halloween but now it's like what am I gonna be for Halloween y'all but for today's video I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I've been loving for the month of August and September as always if you guys like me and you want to see more of me just go ahead and click subscribe down below also if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see me style outfits or outfit of the days go ahead and follow me on my Instagram which is afrina.aguinaldo so anyways let's go and get started all right, so starting off with makeup, the first one I have is this Buxom palette. I don't know the specific palette name because they did send these eyeshadows and this palette for us to like personalize, but these are the colors I have in my palette. This emerald green one here is what I have on my eyes right now, and I am absolutely in love with it. And then I have this like dark pink, I have this yellow gold one, and then a light pink, and then like a matte shadow. And if you guys watch my vlogs you probably have seen this because I did a PR unboxing but I am not getting paid to say any of these they didn't even ask me to put this in this video like I have just like genuinely been using it because the shades are so pretty I'm usually more of like a bronzy earth tone matte type of gal but all the shimmer shades here are so pigmented they're so 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 freaking nice and I was like hmm, I never thought I'd be like a shimmer type of girl but I guess that's like the mood we are in um so anyways these are the colors I've specifically specifically been using the emerald green one a lot of the shade names I'll try to like find out for you guys and put it in the description box if you guys are interested but this is just my little personalized buxom palette that they sent and I have just been like carrying this around with me in my makeup palette anywhere I go and I'm traveling soon again so that will be coming with me in my luggage next I have a new <sighs> ride or die guys like i can't believe i'm saying this but i have a new ride or die foundation i almost forgot the word but yeah um you guys know that i have loved and i still love the Too faced born this way foundation in the shade caramel or golden tan but recently um urban decay came out with a new foundation again i got this from a pr but like i tried it and i was like oh my god like i'm blown away like i truly am blown away um and i ended up really loving it and it's literally the only foundation i have been using for the past two to three months now um and it is the stay naked weightless this liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear from Urban Decay. Yes, from Urban Decay. I believe I used this in a makeup tutorial or like a get ready with me a couple weeks ago. Um, and that was like my first time trying it, but I have just like loved it, you guys. And I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous previous favorites, but I this one. This is my ride or die from now on, besides like the two ways born this way. But this is like literally number one on my top three foundation ever. Um, and that says a lot because I've literally been using the Too Faced Born This Way for years and years and years now. This guy right here just like moved to the top. I am in the shade 61NN, which is 61 Neutral Neutral. Um, and it's the perfect shade. It's the foundation I have on right now. And this feels like your skin, you guys. And my problem with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation before, aside from like loving it, is I can feel that like I'm wearing makeup. And every time I need to scratch my face, I can always see the foundation in my nails like you know how when you scratch it like you get like products in between your nails I don't like that I hated that so I tried to avoid like touching my face at the time and with this one right here sometimes I forget that I'm wearing makeup that I'm just like okay like I'm touching my face which I really shouldn't be because my hands are probably dirty and it's gonna like give me like breakouts and acne and all that stuff but I sometimes forget I'm wearing foundation like that's how nice it feels on my skin again not a sponsored post not a sponsored video I'm not getting paid to put this in the video I'm not getting paid to any of these these are just like the products i have been loving for the past couple months next is this covergirl true blend super stunner hyper glow um it is a highlighter this is in the shade gilded <sighs> this is in the shade gilded glory and i actually discovered this when i did this like 
back to school drugstore makeup or just like a drugstore makeup and I got this when I went to a CoverGirl event and they literally gave us a bag full of makeup and by full of makeup I mean like I think every single color every single shade every single product I've ever had was in that goodie bag and this was also the goodie bag that my boyfriend was like no no thank you like I don't want it and I'm just like babe I could have done I gave away with that. I could have like given it away to my friends and family. I have been loving this. This is the highlight I have on right now. It is this gold champagne color. You guys know that my all-time favorite highlighter is the one from ColourPop, the Alexis Ren one, but that has been discontinued because it was like a collection they had with Alexis Ren. So I need to start finding similar like shade of highlighter and I think this is the closest one I have so far it's not the gold that I want but like it works really really nice on my skin tone so far and I definitely have been loving this and this has been the only highlighter that I have used for the past couple of months every time I put makeup on and last but not least for beauty I have this one from Fleur I believe that's how you pronounce them Fleur and B it is the eyes eyes baby anti-aging cream now recently I've been super like into finding my own skincare routine um, I've had my like skincare routine for like washing my face moving my makeup but when it comes to like you know creams and moisturizers I don't have like a set skincare yet and a lot of you guys are like please do a skincare but I was like I don't want to do a skincare like routine if I haven't found my like ride or die my soul like favorite skincare items so I'm just like you know trying to branch out and try other things but this one has been working really really well on my eyes school recently started and I don't think I've slept more than eight hours a day guys and I know everyone's like girl same girl like that's normal and blah 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 but I would like to have an eight hours of sleep every single day just so I don't have eye bags this has been helping me a lot because my eye bags have just gotten like I don't even know guys and this one has natural ingredients no nasty toxins and what I do with this is I just like to take my ring finger and I just like to dab it and just like apply it underneath my eyes before I go to sleep moving on to random little knickknacks the first one I have is this pair of sunglasses from I think you pronounce them Key Australia. And this is from Kirsty Teigen's line. You guys, tangent. I went to an event in um, West Hollywood and it was like at a hotel. There was like a rooftop bar and then the second rooftop and then like, you know, the, the actual hotel. So my event was in the first rooftop and then the other rooftop guess what event it was it was the key australia and chrissy teigen's launch party and it's so funny because i was like oh my god chrissy teigen and john legend and luna and miles Luna and Miles are like their children, if you guys didn't know, are literally in the same vicinity as me, in the same building. We could probably be breathing the same air, but I didn't see them. I was I was there for the other event that's not like the Key Australia. But the next day, I got a PR from them and I'm just like, oh my god. I have been loving this pair of sunglasses from her line and it just makes me feel like an Upper East Side woman from Gossip Girl like Lily Vanderwoodson like I just look like I have a husband who like died and all of his like will just like went to me like that's that's how it feels like next one I have is this purse right here I got this off Shein and it's a faux crocodile like shoulder or like mini purse these types of purses have been super 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 popular and trendy you guys a lot of people are going to the thrift store and finding like one from Prada one from Dior and I've definitely like seen probably like my aunt my mom my grandma wearing these kind of purses before but now they don't have it so I'm like out here buying stuff but it's just super cute it can fit my disposable camera my vlogging camera my wallet my keys and my phone so it definitely like keeps a lot of like items in this bag but if you guys are looking for purses like this and you want to look expensive but on a budget check out Shein. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check that out. Moving on, I have this sweater and I actually thrifted this, but this is from the brand Hanes. It is this gray sweater right here. I've literally worn this every single day for the past three weeks to class and I'm really, really, really surprised that no one has said anything yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure my 
seatmates are like, do you have any other sweaters? It's just this plain gray sweater and it just matched with so many things, you guys. I matched with a black biker short, my black Lululemon leggings, my jean shorts, pretty much anything. And it's honestly super, 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 super cozy. I'm going to live in this for the rest of the semester. So if you guys see me wear gray sweaters every single day, if you and I happen to go to the same school and you see me wear this sweater every single day, just know that I'm in love with it and to just like mind your own business, I guess, because I'm happy with that gray sweater. Moving on to food items. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you know that I have been on the grind when it comes to meal prepping. I've tried some chicken breast. I've tried some salmon with mushroom, um, with Brussels sprout, and just like, you know, playing around with meal prepping. And the reason why I wanted to do meal preps is because one time I bought um, like chicken tenders and fries at school and it ended up being like $10 and I'm just like, why it wasn't even a lot and it's like not healthy it's not like budget friendly to be spending money all the time with food when you can just like make at home and like prepare yourself if you guys want to see me do a meal prep video let me know down below i'm sure it'll help some of you guys especially if you're in college because i know it's super easy for us to just like go out and eat with our friends and to be quite honest, I don't think you should do that because one, it'll break your bank eventually. Like it's actually pretty expensive. Number two, it's probably not healthy. Um, and yeah, so this is just like an alternative way to save money. But this right here is what I have been loving. It is this little lunch box or lunch container. I didn't have a lot of lunch containers where I would put like my meal preps. So I got one off um, Shein and they have a bunch of different colors. I just picked up this like baby pink one and it's so freaking cute you guys because on the top you can open this and it came with a pair of chopsticks which are metal which is super awesome because you don't have to like throw them out and then a spoon and then you just like put it in this little container on the top and then you close it and there you go you have your utensils stored here and then you unclip these and it's like already sections you can put like your protein here salmon chicken breast whatever it is and then some mushrooms zucchini brussels sprouts and yeah so i really like how it's like divided already because my problem with my previous like containers which is like it was just like plain um and there's like no dividers so like my food was mixing i mean i don't i don't really care if they mix because they're eventually gonna mix inside my stomach but i just think it's like a lot more better this way that they don't mix. I got this um, original bitchin sauce from uh, Costco and it came with three. It was like three levels and then there's like three normal ones but we got the more spicier one because I love love spicy food. This is considered spicy but like the first level spicy and then there's a green one which is like mild and then there's another one where it's like the spiciest but it's not it's not that spicy guys um and i love eating it with this little gluten-free what do you call this like crispy sea salt baked crackers it's so good you guys um and yeah so it's just this is what it looks like hopefully i don't like spill it but it's literally the best snacks i have been eating this every single day and i can't wait to go back to costco and buy more because i'm literally running out so if you guys see this at costco try it out i really 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 love it bitchin and saucy dip spread and smother on your favorite savory food mmm bitchin that's literally what it says on the Anyways, that concludes my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to purchase any of these or check them out, I will put the product links down below. And yeah, anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.